What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn on two-factor authentication here inside of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 so that you guys can go ahead and completely protect your account from any threats and get a free boogie down emote. Now, let's go ahead and jump straight into this video, but really quickly before we show you guys how to turn on 2FA, I just want to let you guys know that I am still gifting my subscribers whatever they want from the Fortnite item shop every Every single day. So if you want to have a chance to get a free gift from me, it can be basically whatever you want from the item shop, like any skin, bundle, back bling, pickaxe, wrap, emote, whatever you can possibly want from the Fortnite item shop, including the chapter five season two battle pass. So all you need to do for a chance to get a free gift from me is basically subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video, and comment down below your Epic Games username so I can add you and send you the gift if you end up winning. Good luck. Okay, so just like I said, guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn on two factor authentication on your Fortnite account here inside of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 in order to go ahead and completely secure your account and get a free emote. So now I'm going to go ahead and make my way to my locker and quickly show you guys which emote this is. So let's go to either one of these slots. And from here, I just got to scroll down a little bit and find this free emote. So there we go. There it is right there, boogie down emote. So after you guys go ahead and turn on two-factor authentication, you're both gonna be completely protecting your account from any type of threats. And also you're gonna get yourself this crazy cool looking emote for 100% free emote. By the way, recently this dance has gone viral on TikTok. So you can get this emote inside of Fortnite for 100% free just by turning on two-factor authentication. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly what you need to do. So let's get into it right now. But just like I said, this is the emote you're gonna be getting. And by the way, it's a pretty OG emote. It was added to the game in season four. All right, let's go ahead and leave this page right now. And basically, I'm now gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly what you need to do. So make sure you guys don't skip any parts because there are a few important things you need to do. So first up, guys, what you need to do is we're gonna go ahead and do a few settings inside of our Fortnite account. So we're gonna go ahead and click our settings icon just like that. And we should scroll down a little bit and go to where it says menu. So from the menu, we got to go all the way to the top to the settings page, just like this. All right. So once we are inside of the settings page, what we need to do is we got to go ahead and look at the top of our screen. So if you guys do that, you're going to see like a bunch of different tabs right there, a bunch of different icons. So for an example, we have the video tab and then we have the audio tab. Then we have the game tab, the game UI, touch and motion, mouse and keyboard keyboard controls, controller, controller mapping, and lastly, account and privacy. So what we need to do is we got to go ahead and make our way to the very last tab right here, which is called account and privacy. After you guys go ahead and arrive over here to this very last tab, you guys are going to see like a bunch of different like sections right here, but like account section, clipping section, social privacy section, gameplay privacy section. So in this part right here, in this account and privacy tab, we need to go ahead and do one specific setting. I'm now going to go ahead and show you guys what that is, but we need to do this setting right now. It's not 100% required, but I'm going to explain to you guys what we're doing this. So basically guys, if you head over to the social privacy section, make sure you guys pay attention to this part. If you head over to the social privacy section right here, if you guys go a little bit down under filter, mature language under uh, friend and permission, text chat and right under text chat, actually, we're going to see the can receive gifts setting right here. So basically guys, normally this has nothing to do with 2FA, but I've seen some people saying that they haven't gotten the boogie down emote just cause they turned this setting off before. So they just probably had this setting set to off for some reason and they just forgot to put it on. And because of that, they claim that they didn't get the boogie down emote. So we just came here and we're just making sure we're not doing anything wrong. And we're just making sure that everybody gets the boogie down emote. So because of that, if you guys want to make sure, if you guys don't want to risk anything, just simply come over here, find this can receive gift setting, interact with it, make sure you guys turn it on if it was previously off for you. If it was already on for you, you don't have to do anything at this part, but if it was off for you, all you need to do is come over here and find this can receive gifts setting inside of the social privacy section and make sure you guys go ahead and turn this on. That way, if the same thing that apparently happened to these people happened to you as well, you're going to be getting the boogie down emote, so you're good. Now, for the last step, this is actually the most important step, guys. We're going to go ahead and leave the settings page, and we will make our way back to the uh, main lobby of Fortnite right now. So this is basically the most important part, and the part we're going to go ahead and actually turn on two-factor authentication. So make sure you guys are paying attention to this part, 
and just don't skip anything. Do as exactly I'm going to be showing you guys and you're going to be good to go. So what we need to do right now is we need to head over to any browser we have. So you can do this on your phone. You can do this on your console that can reach any browser. You can do this on your PC or any other like device you can think of that has a browser on it. So go to that browser and just search up epicgames.com. The website URL will be www.epicgames.com. So go to that website and from that website, I'm now going to go ahead and show you guys exactly what you need to do. But make sure you guys go to any browser and just search up www.epicgames.com. Make sure it's that exact website. Make sure you guys don't go to any other website and just go there. And from there, I'm now going to go ahead and show you guys what you need to do exactly to go ahead and turn on two-factor authentication on your Fortnite account here inside of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2. All right, so after you guys go ahead and load up inside of the EpicGames.com website, this is what you're going to be seeing on your screen. We have like a bunch of different games and stuff like that, but we're here to turn on the two-factor authentication. So here's how you guys do that. From this page, look at the top right corner where you guys can see this little icon right here. So bring your cursor on top of that icon and go down to where it says account and click right here. After you guys click account, it's gonna go ahead and take you over to this page. So as you guys can see, it normally takes you to the account settings part, but I just switched to the redeem code part because there are some private information right here. But basically after you guys go ahead and load up right here, you're gonna see all these different sections. So we have account settings, email preferences, payment management, transactions, epic rewards, subscriptions, password and security, in-game currency, parental controls, EULA history, apps and accounts, creator programs, and marketplace seller. So after you guys go ahead and basically make your way to this page right here, what you need to do is go to the password and security tab right here. So click on it just like this. After clicking on it here, once you guys load up inside of the password and security part, what you need to do is really simple. Just scroll down slowly and you guys are going to find the two-factor authentication part right down here at the bottom. So as you guys can see, there are three different methods you guys can turn on two-factor authentication. The first one is a two-factor authenticator app. So you basically set up an app from your phone and you link it here. So whenever you are going to log on from like a new device or something, it sends a specific code to your phone in that app. And then you can just like pretty much put it right here. This is kind of a hard way to do it. We have email, which is pretty easy. You just put in your email and they send you a mail when you want to log in to your account. And then we have SMS, which is also really simple. It just sends you a short message when you want to go ahead and log into your account. It sends you a code from there and you just put in the code and then you can go ahead and log in. So it's really up to you which one you want to choose. I chose email, but you can choose multiple as well. It is better to set up multiple for better protection. But if you want to just get the emote for free, all you need to do is just choose either one of these. It really doesn't matter which one you choose, just like I said, and click on set up right next to it and just set it up. It's going to tell you exactly what you need to do. It's actually really easy to set it up and you probably won't run into any problems. But if you do so, and if you can't figure out how to set it up, you can simply click on this how to video and it's going to go ahead and take you to the official video made by Epic Games showing you how to exactly set up the two factor authentication. But yeah, that is how you guys can go ahead and turn on two factor authentication here inside of Fortnite. After you turn it on, the first time you log into Fortnite, you're going to be granted the boogie down emote for 100% free. And you can still do this in Chapter 5 Season 2 as well. So if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and subscribe with the post notifications turned on so that you're not going to miss out on any future uploads from me. So I will see you guys later on a different videos. Take care.